Welcome everyone to Let's Play Donkey Kong 94 Episode 3. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester. We are now taking upon the high seas and heading upon the ship level, where things get a little bit tricky, but shouldn't be too hard, so let's get going. Right, starting now, we got a bit of a, I guess, horizontal course. We'll start by, uh, just flipping around on this wire here. Oop. This one is a little bit smartly designed, because you, have, you just have to start by going over here, hit this tile, and here's really the best place to put it, because the way that they've set up this stage, there's really no way to get back in time and use it for yourself. Really the point was to get that guy across, so you can just jump on him to get across to get the key. And there you go. Level's practically over now. And done. There we go, not too shabby. Alright, keep it going. The second stage is a little bit... Eh, it's not too bad. We get introduced to these enemies that give you a big old push. It may seem a bit confusing as to where I go at first, but then you realize that he kind of forgot his post and left a ladder right there for us to climb up. He goes to another wire, which we don't want to use too much power on, so that we can get this key. If we do too much, we'll just go up and grab Pauline's purse. Avoid this guy because he's practically invincible. He has huge range, as you can see. But easily avoidable, nonetheless. If you were coming up from below, though, you'd be kind of screwed. Alright, next one. Did you see it? There's multiple doors. Not gonna see it too much because we're gonna break this level pretty easily. You duck down and he'll push you through these this little space. Because if you if you don't duck, you're just gonna get smashed and you'll die. Oh, shit. So much for a shortcut. To save time. I just probably wasted all that. So anyway, pick up the key, jump up one of these guys' heads, toss up the key, jump up, and then there you go, level's over. But now they're starting to show different doors. You gotta figure out where the right one is. Sometimes there won't even be a door at all. Yeah, figure that shit out. Alright. DK stage. Not one of my favorites. Oh, the frustration I have with this is like, oh god. Hmm, case in point. Well. You gotta go all over the place in this one. First off, you gotta take these lifts, which are not easy to jump upon. Just not quite as accurate as you want to be. Damn it. Ah! And that thing's a motherfucker. You'll see. Alright, this is gonna be the run. Let's go. Psych up. Damn it! Alright, here we go. And, yep. It's really tricky sometimes. Well, that's done. Next step is to head up here to pull this switch. Best to do it while that gate is up, so that way DK can't close it on you and fuck you over. This also keeps the- this also keeps the, uh, those, I guess, blocks? Cylinders? Cinder blocks? Whatever you want to call them? I'll just call them blocks. That way they don't fall on your head. Now the return trip, that's the tricky part. Because you have to get back up there, but that block is gonna give you a hard time, unless if you just do that. Still get problems with that, even today, but... Hey, that's all the fun of a good game, if it keeps challenging you every now and again. Alright. A new vignette with the, uh, stationary birds in the air. Not moving. A little strange. And the game is teaching you what I've already taught you at the beginning of the game. So that's nice. That's... that's not... That's, uh, some pretty nice lives there. Alright, let's keep it moving. Alright, next set of levels is... well, you'll see. This one is, uh, kind of interesting, too. 
We've got two wires to deal with here. One of them is electrocuted. So it's like you have a time limit on this wire. So quickly get on, quickly start spinning, and then get to the second one. Which will allow you to get to this upper platform here. There's two fire guys running around, so make sure you aim well. So I'll grab this key, and we'll take this handy lift all the way down. Okay, I'm done. Just blazing right along. Next one. This one is, hmm. Well, I guess the best place to start would be to put a floor, like, right there. Have them going across. Eh, eh. I want to get that one right there. Put that here so that we can get across. And we need to haul ass. Get the umbrella. Go, go, go. Oh, wow. That is timing, my friends. If we didn't put that uh, first floor there... Whoop. If we didn't put that first floor there, those two guys would kill us as soon as we got up that ladder. And can I not grab... Can I not get the purse when I have the key? Wait. What... What happened? I... What happened? The key went back and... I... I, I mean, I know I got hit, but the key went back and I can't grab the purse. Let's try that again. Hold on. Okay, they're both there, so maybe we can try this again without getting disturbed. Huh. That must have been because one of those guys was on that platform at the same time, but man, I've never had that happen before. I'm learning all types of new things on this Let's Play. 16 years later, how longer than that actually? 20 years later. But because I got all three, I wanted to show off the other bonus. And I'm glad I got the bonus I wanted. Pretty much you just pick a button, and hope you get the number of lives you want. You can get up to three up. Hey, that's not bad. Got the one we lost, and we got another one back. Alright. Alright, and this one, it's not immediately clear what you do at first, but once you figure it out, it's easy. There's a guy right there who'll smash into you if you're not careful. You wanna pull this switch, and then... Pull it again to have that guy drop down. Now that he's dropped down, we'll uh, lure him over here. Jump over him. And we'll get him to push at us again to get us underneath the spikes here. Jumping at the right time allowed us to not fall into the water. That's good. Pull a switch and get that gate up. Hurry, get back up here so he doesn't smash you. Get the key. And, again, this level's over, too. Done. Alright, we're, we're getting some pretty okay times for the most part. Alright, last stage! Here we go. This one, you, ha you sort of have to use your feet to stop the barrels, otherwise, otherwise uh, you're just gonna be jumping up the entire... T you just be jumping up the entire level again, waiting for the barrels to drop so you can grab them. So you have to flip, pretty much, if you want to get any of his barrels. And have a good time, I guess. Whoa. That one nearly hit me. Aw, oh, damn it! <laughs> Can't tell you how many times that shit happens. hit him once. This is, this is gonna be terrible. I guess I'll just wait here for him to throw that second barrel then. And... Got it. But then he... Fuck! Oh, uh, whatever. I'll just use this one. Shit! Man! Come on, dude. Grab that before he can... There! Again, that was that was frame perfect too, because if we would have thrown that barrel, it would have crashed again and we would have to do this whole thing again. But alright, alright! Done with that level. That was pretty easy. Now we're moving on to a brand new area. 
because we're learning the same stuff we knew before. Alright, six lives out of round up round it up pretty good, so yeah. Alright, that was a pretty good run. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time on Let's Play Donkey Kong 94.